which I believe is Atlas and Display. For those just tuning in, um, welcome to Top 3 Action here at Freaks and Geeks. We oh. boo Wednesdays. Um, hello, 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 if everyone. you be so kind as to throw out a tweet, uh, get some people, other, or get your friends to come in and watch some sick cross tag action here in Denson. Um, Sell out time. If you're in the Denson area or the greater DFW area, we're Freaks and Geeks. We're a store located in Denson. We have a lot of cool toys, video games. It's a store, right? It's, a cl- we, it's like a classic uh, nerd and geek memorabilia store. Yeah. And we also host a bunch of tournaments. We host this tournament every Wednesday. And we host Smash every days that I'm not aware of. Thursday. Thursday, and we're looking to expand some more tournaments later on. I am line. hoping for Dragon Ball. I'm gonna be real honest. I want to commentate that because it's tight <laughs> as hell. And so, if you're in the area, or you just want to get into the FGC or huh? around the place, uh, come by. Yeah. We're all really friendly people. <laughs> all yeah. right. So now we've got Just Clay versus Atlas, and Just Clay was talking about this matchup last week because he wanted. He wanted revenge. He wanted his me- metal clay, metal, oh, how did you do it? Metal clay Cat. rising revengeance on Atlas. Okay, I get what you're referencing now. I, <laughs> took me a second. Metal Gear, jeez. And no, this no. is okay, winner's you- finals action. And just guys have done quite a bit since last time Atlas has been around. This isn't a day one meet series anymore. It's a day like, well, what is it? Like 22 now? Yeah. It's been like, it's been like three or four years. Yeah. I, bought, I bought this up a lot whenever people were playing Yuzu around here last time. I think Yuzu is really, really good versus the like, DP assist idea just because this sword goes through both characters anyway her sword so, is huge the sword is big and she can get rid of the assist tp without having to commit too much as other players would just jump in atlas doesn't need to yeah see atlas has a solid team to actually break the action because he has the range he has the big meaty normals that have a lot of range mm-hmm. you're saying that but uh, atlas is kind of getting Beat up right now. Yuzu's on red. Uh, Waltzine's looking a little less healthy than normal. Good DP through the clash. Yeah, I said that Ooh, his team patience. has the ability to pick Ryan, so he was. Well, we hit him with the instant overhead, but it didn't quite work out. Oh, it might be. Oh, good that, grab. Uh, Batista might just be DC, too short yeah. for the instant overhead stuff to work on it. Yeah, DHC to get the piece of that. Cross combo silliness. Cross combo. And DP DP's through. out. He waits out that DP. Just Clay makes, has made a number of comebacks with this character before, and it's specifically because of this. He's got the rhythm down, and when you have rhythm down with a grappler, yikes. Big yikes. He might even find himself on the... I was having to wait out the rest of this residence. Oh, oh. he's got Astral Scoop. Just kidding. La- laughing to himself a little bit there, but... Had to go for it. He got the nine. He gotta go for it. Oh, DPs. Just like having to chase this pesky little little Batista around all over the place. And this is such a good super. It puts Waltzheim back at full screen. Don't jump. Oof. Good spacing on Atlas. This part gives him the first game. Yep. Yeah. 
that was a pretty, really, really crucial thing that happened while uh, Meteor was still alive was that the instant overhead actually just whiffed on Vatista. So a lot of Just Clay's, uh, a lot of Just Clay's blender is negated just because of how sh small Vatista is. Look at that. Those have been verified as being used to the blender. No, no, it's actually not verified. We need to check that one. But yeah, definitely possible. I'm not punishing the burst. Think of one clash for another. Push block joint. Too strong. Grabs through because of um, just the wrong assist there. He gets his assist TP this time. Misses the rest of the conversion with Tisa's small stature. Oh, gosh, wild. This is a style that can really put a wrench in just place plans. Not only is Batista just too small for some of the stuff he's been working on to work on, but oh, good first punish. But Atlas plays back. He won't continuously get in that DPS this range to begin with. Yeah. He'll, he'll wait, he'll literally down and he'll take his time, but that means he's doping, he's still within. Not only because Yusu can easily get in, but because Batista has a, a decent amount of mobility. Yeah. Decent, that's like. And uh, one of the bigger parts of this scenario is that uh, having to chase the, this Batista down so much is I mean, it's gonna hurt the wall sign a lot. Just have Down. to keep catching up, keep catching up, keep catching up. Yeah. And and just Clay has to find a way to answer. Specifically, oh. whenever he gets them in the corner, he's yeah. allowing them to just jump over. And that cannot be the case if you're trying the corner end. Hard to blockables. <laughs> Truth, truthfully, that was just a good, good punish on. That was the, just a good punish super. on the Wait, on the with super. But still, Yuzu's hard, hard to trademarked hard to block goals. <laughs> um, but they're they're definitely a thing that you always have to play around in. Um, and the thing is, Atlas is picking is picking the right uh, choices every time, and uh, now he's landing one of the hits, putting it in. Uh, because if you miss every single hit on that, uh, on those uh, moves, then it's relatively easily punished if you're ready. Project into, into fighting over Batista's throat. Let's yeah. see. This guy's getting a lot of damage this time around. But maybe he's found the rhythm. At the very least, he's still getting a lot of mileage off of this uh, plunge. Plus frames. I was suspecting it. Wow, weird. But in this too, so this play is really up for burst a lot of the time, and it's getting a lot more damage than it needs. He's taking a lot more damage than he needs to be taking for all of it. Oh. Wait, this guy lost the meter and all that. I wonder what he was trying to do. Uncontested skies. Oh, Ooh, but that's that's gonna that? be a dead Batista there. <laughs> oh, yikes. That's gonna be a dead user. Right? Okay. Yeah. This guy's showing signs of life. Also, he, uh, Alice only had a level of one lesson. Yeah. I don't know what happened that caused that match to go so differently, but just Clay had his number there. It might be a sign that just Clay is starting to understand this rhythm and he's being able to do more whenever he corners Batista, which is why I kind of agree with this start from Atlas. Just start off with the Batista and get the backup game going already. Make force just Clay to come to you because you've had a much better time in defending than offending. Slashes. Oh, 
Great anti-air DP assist. Going back into the wall. And then there's the burst. Just in time. Oh, oh but back into the wall again. Here he goes. Atlas trying to push in where he really doesn't need to. Okay. Scoop after the fight. Alright, that's so much damage. Vitisa hanging on by a thread. Gets scoot for his troubles. That's dead. But Grappler thinks, waits it out, gets a counter hit. And Just Clay is just eating food right now. Making a sandwich out of Atlas at this point. But not always lost. I mean, he's got level 1 residence, but he's got a big sword. Really long katana. This guy has really big claws. Yeah, see that resonance cancel going. And he is two, two. So now we've got an even game, a double Luigi. Just because he's showing that he's really, really understanding Atlas's timing, his play style at this point. It's a, it's a Tekken phrase. We'll talk about it later. Um, no, no, no. We got this match coming up, and we we got a lot to talk about. We got there's so many things that could happen during this opening part. A lot of this really comes down to if okay, uh, see like that. All all of you do. Uh, Flash is a block in the door. Uh, when he uses in the air, and there, he can block the full straight down. He's really open. But then if he was using that piece to recover. By this point, he's got two the grinder. Waits for the Wallstein assist and then uses. But look at that using health. It's all red. There is no black health there. Oh man, that was almost a gross conversion. But it gets a little bit more than a uh, two hug. Good block. Oh, miss. Oh, JB had already come out. And me too, bleeding quite a bit, but both of Alice's characters are bleeding quite a bit too. And Justly's got a really healthy wall sign. Oh my oh goodness. Good DP. Probably trying to anti it, but gets stuff for his troubles. It's. Good flash kit for flash kit. Good jump back. He doesn't quite get a punish, but at least doesn't eat that that damage. Poor play saying back. Just play is not gonna just throw himself wildly at Atlas. He knows that he's got a super life lead. He could just wait it back, let Mitsu assist do their thing. Ooh, yeah. that, that laser is a really, really punishable. I believe Honestly, it's minus 14, so he would have probably just killed him there. Honestly, if Clay wanted to, he could really sit back for the next 97 seconds and still win and make the keep and make a uh, Atlas in him. He misses his meaty grab, but I mean, that's still so little damage. And now all of Batista, all of Batista's resources are gone. Okay. Oh, yep, and there's the grab. And that's it, that's it. Three, two, just play with the reverse 30. I, man, that was a reverse. That was a solid reverse that's, sweep right there. That's the scary thing about a, a skull goals play on a grappler. Once they find your rhythm, you have to work so hard to yeah. change it. You have to go against what you are already doing, and you have to get ready for their their reactions to your adaptations. 